based on the fact that nine different Biden family members have been receiving payments from a web of LLCs that are receiving payments from my adversaries around the world. This fits a pattern of uh, questionable behavior that the Biden family members have been doing to receive funds. So uh, we take this whistleblower claim very seriously. We know it exists. We know the FBI has the document. I can tell you this, the Biden family have received a lot of payment from the Chinese Communist Party, uh, from entities that are state-owned entities. Chairman Comer sent a subpoena to FBI Director Christopher Wray to testify and to produce a document in the FBI's possession that, quote, describes an alleged criminal scheme involving then Vice President Biden and a foreign national relating to the exchange of money for policy decisions. This comes as Secretary of State Anthony Blinken denies he pushed for 51 intelligence officials to sign a letter calling the Biden laptop Russian disinformation right before the election and then lied about it under oath, as Senator Ron Johnson told us right here last week. Uh, Anthony Blinken finally did come in and sit down for a voluntary transcribed interview in December of 2020 because he wanted to be Secretary of State. And now because of uh, more information that's come out, we know that he lied bold face to Congress about never emailing Hunter Biden. My guess is he told a bunch of other lies that uh, hopefully we'll be able to bring him and his wife back in, tell them to preserve their records. It wasn't my idea, didn't ask for it, didn't solicit it. And uh, I think uh, the testimony uh, that uh, the former Deputy Director of the CIA, Mike Morrell, put forward confirms that. What can you tell us about this latest investigation of influence peddling on a sitting president? I know that you're planning a press conference this Wednesday. What will we learn? Well, Senator Grassley and I uh, received uh, a, a tip uh, on a whistleblower. Senator Grassley was, was the lead in this. Uh, we reviewed documents uh, from the legally protected whistleblower, highly credible whistleblower. Uh, that would implicate Joe Biden in a pay-for-play scheme uh, in uh, uh, trying to uh, set up a deal to receive funds to he and his family uh, in exchange for foreign policy decisions. Now, that fits a pattern, Maria, of what we've seen with these bank records. And on Wednesday, we're going to present to the American people uh, all the information that we've received thus far pertaining to bank records, uh, we're going to disclose many of the different LLCs, uh, many of the different transactions that all these different Biden family members have gotten from our adversaries around the world. Now, we don't believe this was just a coincidence that all these Biden family members were receiving uh, money from these this web of LLCs into their personal bank account. We believe this was done in exchange for something that uh, then Vice President Biden and, and now President Biden uh, would have done. So uh, this whistleblower is gonna provide some very crucial information to our investigation. And we've given the FBI until May the 10th to produce this document. So the ball is in the FBI's court with respect to this whistleblower. You, you are sure that this document exists? 100%. What if they don't release the document by May 10th? What if they decide to indict Hunter Biden for having a gun illegally before your press conference? My message to the Department of Justice is very loud and clear. Do not indict Hunter Biden before Wednesday when you have the opportunity to see the evidence that the House Oversight Committee will produce with respect to the web of LLCs, with respect to the number of adversarial countries that this family influence peddled in. This is not just about the president's son. This is about the entire Biden family, including the president of the United States. So we believe there are a whole lot of accounts that the IRS and the DOJ don't know about because we don't believe they've done a whole lot of digging in this. And we have, uh, we spent the past hundred days pouring over bank documents. I've used subpoena power to get these bank documents. We've been meeting. What this family was doing and by all accounts from the, the media reports that we're getting, what they're looking at charging Hunter Biden on is a, is a slap on the wrist. It's a drop in the bucket. So Wednesday will be a very big day 
uh, for the American people in getting the facts presented to them so that they can know the truth. And then the Department of Justice can finally do what they should have done years ago. What? on Fox all the time and talks about uh, he was essentially a foreign agent for countries like China. It was on and on and on. And again, Maria, it's not just the president's son. And we don't believe these countries were paying the Biden family for nothing. We believe yeah. they were getting a return on their investment and the return on the investment would have been policy decisions for then Vice President Joe Biden and current President Joe Biden. How much money do you believe the Biden family has taken in? How much money have you been able to identify of cash going to Biden family members? Well, we're going to dive into that on Wednesday, but it's uh, millions and millions of dollars. I can say that. Uh, hopefully people will pay attention on, on Wednesday when we have this press conference and they can see actual bank records. So, you know, Another thing that's important to know with this investigation, Maria, and I think we'll make it even more interesting on Wednesday, is more and more evidence is pointing towards Joe Biden. I mean, obviously, Joe Biden was was involved in all these things, despite the fact that he's lied to the American people, despite the fact that uh, his press secretary continues to lie about it. We've already produced one wire from one LLC uh, totaling over a million dollars to four different Biden family members. And now we're going to produce uh, an additional five Biden family members, more countries, more LLCs, more bank accounts. I mean, this thing is much bigger than anyone would have ever predicted. And it all points towards Joe Biden, the big guy. This is just incredible. So is this money line? money and changing policy decisions and announcing cha uh, policy decisions on behalf of America and pocketing the cash. Yeah, the LLCs were set up to disguise the sender of the money and to deceive the IRS so they wouldn't have to pay taxes uh, or else the countries would have just wired the money directly to the buy. But they tried to do it through a web of LLCs. Uh, I was a director of a bank for over a decade. There's a term that banks use for that. It's called money laundering. And obviously the bank violations that we looked at at Treasury, many banks suspected the same thing. So the Department of Justice has a whole menu of options to go after this family, on, not just the president's son, but this family. And it's not gonna be lying on a gun application or not paying taxes for one or two calendar years. I don't think they realize how many different LLCs and how much different money the Bidens laundered into their personal accounts. So there's a whole lot of information here for the Department of Justice to use. And by all accounts, I don't think they're aware of, of the majority of it. Esta noticia patriotas está en desarrollo. Muy pronto un nuevo informe. Dios te bendiga y que viva Trump Presidente 2024.